In this lesson, we look at numbers from 100,000 up to 999,999. Okay, these are six digit numbers. Now let's consider this six digit number. Now each digit has a position or a place value. That six is in the units column or the ones column. The next one, the seven, is in the tens column. The three is in the hundreds column. The one is in the thousands column. The eight is in the ten thousands column. And this five is in the one hundred thousands column. Now to read that number, okay, it looks, there's six digits there, but you've only got to read three at a time. Okay, that first three, 581, and then you say thousand, there's a little gap there. 581,376. Let's look at example one. We're asked to expand the numbers. And the first number we have is 640,375. Okay, let's write that down there and we'll just consider each place value. So we start from the right. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands. So to expand the number, we're going to look at each digit. So the six is worth a hundred thousand. So we have six lots of hundred thousands. That's six hundred thousand. Now that four is worth four lots of ten thousands. Well, four tens are forty, so we have forty thousand to add. We write plus forty thousand. The next one, zero, is in the thousands column, but zero lots of a thousand is still zero. Okay, so we can ignore the zero there. Moving on to the three, three hundreds. So we add three hundred. The seven is in the tens column, so seven tens is seventy. So let's add seventy. And finally, the five is in the units or ones column, and five times one is simply five. So we add the five at the very end there. Okay, so we've expanded that number. The next one, 826,930. Again, let's write it there and go through. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands. The eight is worth eight lots of hundred thousand. So that's eight hundred thousand to start with. Two is worth two lots of ten thousands. So we're going to add twenty thousand. We have six lots of thousands, okay? So we're going to add six thousand. We have nine lots of hundreds. So we're going to add nine hundred. We have three lots of tens. So we add thirty. And finally, we have zero lots of ones or zero lots of units, which is zero. So there's nothing more to add. Example two, we need to write the numerals for each. Okay, and the first one, 230,795. Well, let's look at this. There are six digits there. Okay, so, but what we're going to do, break it up a little bit. Three digits and three digits. Okay, there's a little bit of a gap there, and that's our thousands gap. So, the first bit we're going to look at, 230,000. So, that the first three digits, 230 there. Okay, so that'll represent 230,000. Then we have 795. So in our remaining three digits, 795. Okay, 795. So let's write our answer there. The next one, 807,456. So again, let's consider the first part, 807,000. I'm going to take up the first three digits, 807, 807. Then we have 456. So those last three digits then will be 456, 456. Our final question, 481,079. Again, the first three digits. 481,000 will have 481. 
And then we have N79. So our last three digits, we need to write 79 there. Now, if we write it there, you must, we mustn't have any gaps, okay? So we're going to have to fill up the gaps with zeros. But if we put a zero there, that's actually 790, okay? It's not 79. So what we need to do with that 79 is move it to the end and have the zero at the front. Okay, so that number there, looking at it, 481,079. Excellent.